In this WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications, we're going to talk about how to upload and link to a PDF, Microsoft Word document, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, or other document. Okay, this is actually quite handy, uh, but it's not obvious um, unless you used WordPress a little bit. So let's check it out. I've got a a post already set up here called WordPress Tutorial, how to upload and link to a PDF or other document. And I've got some text in here just sitting here. This is where I would like to have a link that actually goes to a PDF. So, you know, there are a lot of instances, especially if you're using WordPress for a website. But even if not, I mean, if you're just doing blogging with your WordPress site, um, you may want to refer people to a file, you know, a document, something that you've created or something that uh, somebody else has created, and you want to link to that in the body of your post or a page. Um, so here's how to do that. In uh, the dashboard, we're going to go to Manage, Posts, and here is the post we're going to work with. Okay, and I've got, you can see here, I've got some text. That's where I'd like my link to go. But first, this is just like uh, inserting an image into a post or page, but you know, you're not going to be able to see the document in the page itself. Um, so you've got to go through a couple of the same steps, however. We're going to go to Upload, which is below the visual w uh, editing window. Upload click on browse, go and get the file that you want. I've got a PDF sitting here. Okay, I'm going to select that PDF. Um, now that address uh, for the PDF on my computer is there. I'm going to give it a title. Okay, um, and This is called English Conversation Flyer. Um, it's it's important, as I've said in other tutorials uh, in this series, to give anything that you upload a very descriptive title. Uh, that's good for search engines, and it's also good for uh, human visitors to your site. Okay, so I've got my title in there, and now I'm going to click Upload. Um, depending on your internet connection, you know, you may want to uh, think about this. The, the size of the PDF it may take quite a while, you know, depending on how large the file is to, to upload it. But, okay, now we see this is just what you see uh, when you've uploaded an image. You get the same thing. Here's the title I gave it. And now I can send it to the editor. The easiest way to create this link is to leave it, okay, it says here link to. I can select file, page, or none. Um, because this is a, a document, okay, the easiest way to insert it here is to just click in the visual text editing window. Okay, you can see my cursor sitting there. It's underneath this text. And now I've got it linking to file. I'm going to say send to editor. Okay. And there it is. It put it in there with the title as the text. Okay, so this is a link and the link is to the PDF that we uploaded. Okay, I'm going to publish this. Um, well, actually it's, it's not publishing because it's already been published, so I'm saving this post now after having edited it. Okay, that's done. Save the post, go out here, refresh. Okay, now you can see I've got text here, which is a link. It says English Conversation Flyer. And this is in the Business Blogging uh, 101 website in this post. And I click on here. And because of the way I have the browser uh, configured, it asks me what to do. Okay, in a lot of instances, um, this would just open right up in the browser window. 
Okay, in this case, it asked me, do you want to open this or save it to a disk, which is also an option. Um, if I click on open, or just say OK, then it opens it. It's kind of out of the way of the, uh, there, okay, that's a pretty funny looking uh, little flyer. It's got Japanese and English on it. Um, but you get the idea, okay? That's, that's the PDF that we uploaded. I'm going to close that, close out of that. Um, one other point here, if we go back to the post, okay, you've seen how to how to create that link there. Go back to our um, editing window here, and down below, because we've got browse with along with the upload, there's the English conversation flyer, which you can see. Okay, if I click on that, this is one of the things that we've uploaded, and if I click on edit over here, okay, I can change the title of this thing here, I can delete it, um, if I make changes, this is the URL, which is the location that WordPress uploaded it when I clicked on upload. So you don't really have to mess with that URL. If you wanted to um, capture that URL, you could. You can click in this window and do a select all and then copy. Okay, now you have the URL for that file for the English conversation, in this case, file. Okay, I'm going to click on save. So we're done with that and go back up here. Now I could, having copied that link, that URL address for the PDF file, I could now highlight any text that I want okay if I wanted to make this into a link to that file I've highlighted the text I go and click on the insert edit link button here Okay, I get my pop-up and now right in the link URL window that first item that I'm supposed to fill out um, be sure to highlight whatever is in here before you paste anything in otherwise you're gonna get a, a funky address so I'm highlighting that and then I'm doing a command or control V. Now you can't see it, but that's the URL that belongs to that PDF that we uploaded. So I've just assigned that to the text that I want to make into a link. And now I can say open in same window, open a new window, whatever. I'll say new. And then again I can put in um, English conversation flyer, uh, anything else I want, okay, circa, you know, 2000 whenever that was made, um, and click on insert. Okay, that's the key because now this text also is a link to the PDF. So we did that two different ways, right? We can use the send to editor button linking to the file and that will pop it in here. I'll try and I'll show you that one more time. Send to editor, dunk, okay. Now it's that pops it in, right, where I had the cursor. or click on the, you know, do, do a browse, go and find the, the file that you want, the PDF, that English Conversation Flyer, okay, click on Edit, and then click in the URL window, do a Command or Control A to select all of that, uh, Control C to copy, um, come back up here, okay, one more link, Okay, I can type whatever text I want or select whatever text I want. Hit the insert link button, command or control V to paste that whole URL into the link URL window. Um, title, whatever I want to put in there. Okay, insert. So now you've seen two ways that you can upload a PDF or we can do the same with any other document, any other Word, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, upload those files, and then you've got the URL to work with. Um, you can insert it or grab the URL out of this and apply it using the link button to any text that you want. Okay, I'm going to save that real quick. And we should see, going back to refresh, refreshing, 
All right, there are the four links. Now they all link up to the same document. And you can check this. I don't think you can see this, but if you look down in the status bar, which is down here, if I roll over one of those links, you see the address. It's so tiny you can't see it, but on your own computer you would be able to. Uh, and if you click on that, it's going to say, do you want to open this thing or save it? Okay, it might just open up in your browser. And there it is, the document that we uploaded, PDF. So that's how to upload a PDF or other document and link to that file so that somebody can click on the link and open the document using their web browser.